In the previous video I introduced horizontal and vertical lines and the equations for these. Now not all lines that we have to draw in GCSE Maths are going to be horizontal or vertical. They may well be diagonal and in which case there's a different type of equation that comes about from that. One of these, an example of that, is y equals 2x plus 1. This is an example of a line where we need to be able to draw it um, and we also need to be able to identify it. So more likely this is going to be a case of can you identify the equation from the line? But to introduce it, I'm going to show you how you draw it first. So there are two important bits of information. The two important bits of information that are in the graph, in the equation, sorry, are the plus one and the number two. Okay? So let's deal with the number two first. No, scratch that. Let's deal with the plus one first. The plus one, the number on the end, okay, whether it be plus five or minus two or plus a hundred, this number tells you tells you where the line crosses the y axis. So beforehand I told you that the x axis is the horizontal line and the y axis is the vertical line. Okay? So it tells you that plus one where it crosses the y axis and so you just need to find positive one on the y axis and it's there and that is a point on your line. Okay? That is the first bit of information we need. The second bit comes from this number in blue, the 2. That number that is in front of the x tells you the gradient of the line. Now the word gradient really means steepness, so how steep the line is. So it's telling me that it has a gradient of 2. And what that means is that for every 1 along, you're going up 2. So you always go 1 along when you're measuring gradient, and the number that is in front of the x tells you how much you should go up or down. So for every 1 along, in this case, I'm going 2 up. So from that initial point, I'm going to go 1 along, 2 up, make a cross. 1 along, 2 up, make a cross. And then you can backtrack it. So you're going 1 along, 2 down, 1 along, 2 down, 1 along, 2 down. And you fill up the whole graph. So let's see what this looks like. Let's plot it. y equals 2x plus 1. There it is. Okay. That's y equals 2x plus 1. So the plus 1, just to reiterate, told us where it crossed the y-axis, tells us to go through that point. And then the 2 in front of the x tells us the gradient, how steep the line is. So 1 along, 2 up in this case. So let's see another one. Let's look at the line y equals 3x uh, minus 2. So in very much the same way, the minus 2 tells me where the line crosses the y-axis. And the 3 tells me the gradient. So if I'm crossing the y-axis at minus 2, I look for minus 2 on the y-axis, and it's there. And the 3 tells me that for every 1 along, I should be going up 3. So instead of doing 2 here, 1, up, one along 2 up, I'm going 1 along 3 up. So from that point, 1 along 3 up, 1 along, 3 up, and I can't do the next point because it's too far up, and 1 along, 3 down, 
just to fill out the graph. So if I then plot it, y equals 3x uh, minus 2, there is my line. So you can see that for this line the gradient was 2, for this line the gradient is 3, and you should be able to see that this line is steeper, okay, steeper than the red one. So the larger the number, the steeper the line. So the larger the number from the x, the steeper the line in this case. So it all follows a very similar format where we have a number in front of the x, which is usually denoted m, and this plus c. The plus c is the number that tells you where it crosses the y-axis, and the m is the gradient. One along, m up, or down in whichever case, whether it's positive or negative. So this is what you need to be able to do and be able to identify.